Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into our latest vlog here on the Gavin Partridge YouTube channel. We're going to be having a couple more opinion polls that have been released during the past 24 hours. And we've also got a new prediction for the July the 4th general election from Electoral Calculus. That's the first prediction that they've released for about a week based on, you know, the past week's worth of opinion polls. So I'll have a look at that and then we'll have a look at some of the very latest polls that have just been released in the past few hours. If you're enjoying the election vlogs, opinion polls, following vlogs here on my channel please you like share and subscribe and thank you so much everybody for doing that thank you so much right well let's go to electoral calculus then and have a look at their latest prediction so in five four three two one <laughs> there we go we find that uh, they have predicted a labor majority of 264 seats but it's down eight on um, their previous prediction. So Labour are down eight there, but still having an enormous and absolutely overwhelming landslide majority of 264 seats. That is up to today, the 21st of June. So bang, up to date. Let's go through the numbers then. So we've got the Conservative, Labour, Liberal Democrat, Reform, Green, SNP, Plaid and other column just here 2019 votes and seats and then the predicted votes and seats just here so conservatives now under 20 percent predicted to get just 19.9 percent of the vote in the next general election which leaves them on just a central prediction of 76 seats there's a margin for error within that prediction so they could go as low as 41 they could still be as high as 227 and if the conservatives came away from this election with 227 seats i think they would be very very satisfied and relieved <laughs> um, with that it's still a lot of seats to lose from the 376 that they got in 2019 but 227 you know, would leave them with a fighting chance for the subsequent election. But 76 is a wipeout, 41 is total oblivion. And for, as, far, as far as Labour, well, 76 is total oblivion, really. Um, as far as Labour is concerned, they are predicted to get 39.5% of votes. So they have just gone under 40%. Now, a little bit of a reduction taking place in the expected share of a vote from Labour, but still gives them a central prediction of 457 seats. They could be as high in the margin of error as 499, 500 seats, basically. They could be as low as 318, and that is uh, just under what they need to form an overall majority. So at their very lowest level, a bit of a margin for error, they actually fall underneath the three two seats they need to get an overall uh, majority. Liberal Democrats on a central prediction of 11.6, about what they got in 2019, but many more seats. Central prediction of 66 seats there for the Liberal Democrats, only 10 behind the Conservatives in terms of who forms the official opposition. At the high end, they could go to 81 seats. That would surpass the Conservatives as the official opposition. At the low end, they could be down on 38 seats, which is still way above the eight that they got in 2019 reform on expected share of 17.8 nearly 18 percent yields them just three seats that's because first past the post very much penalizes new up and coming and small parties of course margin for error could take them up to 15 seats they could be as low as just one seat though within the margin for error greens on six percent way above the nearly three percent they got in 2019 at the high end that could give them two seats at the low end they could uh the high end they up uh, a medium end i should say they're on two seats at the high end two seats at the low end could go down to one seat smp on 3.5 percent gives them a central prediction 22 seats they could be as high as 39 they could be as low as seven Implied predicted to get four seats in the central prediction as low as as high as five and as low as one and others predicted to get two seats as high as three and as low as none and then of course we've got the um, northern irish parties down here central prediction 
of an overall Labour majority of 264. That's a landslide. In fact, I think it's just about the biggest majority in British political history. So that's the latest prediction for electoral characters. There have been three opinion polls released uh, so far today. We've had uh, Techlin, which actually turned up last night, and we've also had Whitestone in Insight, and also We Think. Let's deal with uh, Techlin first of all. So uh, they have the Conservatives on 19%, Labour on 42%, Liberal Democrats on 12%, SNP 2%, uh, Greens 5%, and Reform 17%. Just two behind the Conservatives, others three, and that gives Labour an overall lead of 23%. We have also today have Whitestone Insight for uh, the Daily Express and also the Daily Mirror. <coughs> So, sorry again, everybody. So, uh, that has the Conservatives on 19% of the vote. Uh, Labour on 39%. Number poll taking Labour just under 40%. Liberal Democrats on 12%. SNP on 3%. Greens on 6%. And Reform overtaking the Conservatives on this poll on 20%. Overall Labour lead of 19%. And then finally, we have had We Think which gives Labour a 21% lead. Conservatives a little bit higher with this poll on 22%. Still nothing <laughs> to write home about for them, though. Um, Labour a little bit higher as well on 43%. Liberal Democrats a bit lower than we've seen with some of these pollsters on 8%. SNP on 3%. Greens on 7%. Reform a little bit lower with this pollster as well, we think. Reform are on 13%. So that one looks a little bit out of... Oops, I've just... <laughs> oh dear, what are you doing, gal? I've just dropped my mouth. So sorry, everybody. Not ideal in the middle of a video, is it? There we go. All right, so let's do that again. What was I saying? Oh, I've got to change colour as well. What was he saying? Um, yeah, oh, right. Okay, so this one's a little bit out of kilter with uh, quite a few of the other pollsters. So the Conservatives are slightly higher than uh, what we see with many of the other pollsters, although not much in it. Labour a little bit higher than some of the other pollsters as well. Um, Liberal Democrats quite a bit lower and Reform quite a bit lower as well with this uh, particular pollster, we think. Overall vote, Labour lead 21%, not that far out of line, really. Most of the polls, most of the opinion polls seem to have Labour around 20%. And have a quick look at the polling graph. There it is. So, again, we see Labour's trend line has dropped from the mid-40s to about 40%. Conservative trend line has dropped from the mid-20s to about 20%. Reform has gone up from about 10% to not all that far from 20%, and the Liberal Democrats are ticking up a little bit as well. Greens and SNP not really moving. And that's how we're looking with uh, less than two weeks to go now. So uh, we shall see what happens with uh, the remainder of the polls. And we'll be doing our next polling roundup for you tomorrow late. That'll be the Saturday night polling roundup. And I'd say that'll probably be coming up about 9, 10 o'clock in the evening tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this uh, polling roundup and also look at the latest predictions for electoral characters, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you drop a comment, all of that good stuff. And we'll be back with another vlog for this intriguing general election very, very soon. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.